you guys welcome back to another vlog if you're new my name is lauren today's vlog is going to be a little bit different than usual it's going to be an unedited day in my life so basically what that means is i have to put all of the video clips together and not cut anything out which will be a little bit tricky for me because i sometimes pause when i'm talking or i'm like off doing stuff so this isn't going to be a montage vlog in any way because you're literally going to see me starting and stopping the clip every time I start and stop the clip, which I usually tend to cut out, obviously. So we'll see how this goes. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, hopefully I don't stutter over my words or anything too many times. But yeah, I just wanted to switch up the content a little bit and try something new. I thought this would be super fun to challenge myself to or to just try out, I guess. And um, I've seen that they were really popular on YouTube. I don't even know, probably like a few months ago or like last year. I've seen a couple YouTubers do it. So I wanted to go ahead and take a stab at it and try it for myself. But um, anyways, I did a workout this morning. I just got out of the shower, washed my hair, and now I'm gonna make my protein coffee. I'm gonna show you guys how I make that. And this is the part that I would normally cut out. <laughs> so I have been loving the One Up Nutrition Salted Caramel Protein Powder. It's so delicious. So I'm gonna put this in my blender with some almond milk and mix it with my coffee. I usually have this during, my camera's being weird. I usually have this during the work week after my workouts and I just love it with coffee. So I'm gonna put all the ingredients in the blender, blend it up, make a shot of espresso and have that over ice. I've been so obsessed with caramel lately that I actually ordered the nut pods, um, salted caramel flavor which i'm excited about i need to put these in the fridge i wanted to try them because i haven't tried this flavor before i know like nothing crazy because it's literally just caramel flavored nut pods but i haven't tried it and i've been super into caramel because of this protein powder so my coffee on the weekends are not the same because they don't have that caramel flavor i don't know so i'm just on a caramel kick so I ordered this off Amazon. I can link it. I always get my nut pods off of Amazon. It's just the easiest. Sometimes I can't find my flavor that I want in the store. So it's just easier to pick them up through Amazon. So maybe I'll try this later today. But anyways, just wanted to share. I also have a few things that I did want to share with you guys. And I'll do that later today. But I'm just going to make this and I'll show you. I guess the end result because I don't know. Okay, here's the coffee. I'm gonna put a straw in it. I also just got some silicone straws. Honestly, just to have. I like how they're bendy and you can kind of move them around. Obviously, with glass straws, you can't really do much with those. So I got a pack, I think, of 12. I cut some of them to be the same length as my glass straws and then sorry this drawer is a mess and then i left some really long so i think these fit like 20 or 30 ounce yeti cups or just cups in general and then i cut these to just be a little bit shorter the only issue is it's like sticking them in an ice drink okay this is like working pretty well i can't do this with one hand please hold Look how delicious this looks. I'm so excited to drink this. I'll link this protein powder down below with my coupon code. I always link it in all of my videos. Um, but highly recommend. This looks delicious. Okay, I came in the other room because I just started the dishwasher and it's really loud. And I wanted to show you guys some stuff that I picked up. First thing is I got more of the road lip balms i got the three pack this time she just restocked them like a few weeks ago or was it last week it was sometime and i picked up the three pack because i got the watermelon slice flavor 
and the one con about it is that I feel like there's not a lot of product in the tube because I'm already like going through it and I feel like I don't apply it more often than other lip balms so I don't know why that's the case but I got the three flavors or scents um, unscented salted caramel and watermelon slice I kind of want to try putting on the salted caramel one right now and see how good it is oh it tastes like my <laughs> it tastes like my morning protein powder it's kind of like I usually don't go for stuff like this like I do like the vanilla Laneige um, lip sleeping mask. I love that This one's good, but I feel like I'm more like into sweet. I love the gummy bear Laneige scent um, I love like minty lip balm scents too But it's good. I really highly recommend this. Um, you can sign up for notifications to get notified When she restocks everything, I think she's gonna restock the skincare soon. So follow the road Instagram and also Hailey Bieber's Instagram because she's constantly keeping that updated Next I got some more of my favorite earrings that I literally wear every single day. I usually Probably repurchase them once a year. I usually Repurchase them in October. This is probably my fifth fourth or fifth time repurchasing them so I've been wearing them for years and they're just my favorite Huggies. Um, I, I shared this in my Amazon favorites video. And they're just so good. And this time I got one with like a little dangle on it. Looks like that. But I wear these Huggies literally every single day. I sleep in them, shower in them, work out in them. They're really good. And they're only $12 on Amazon. And if you repurchase them every year, I feel like that's just not even bad. I've seen these earrings go for literally like $60, $70 on some high-end or more high-end jewelry sites. And if I found them for $12 and they're probably the exact same thing, I'd rather just spend the $12 on them. So I noticed that mine were getting a little bit dull, so... I decided to pick them up. They just get dull or start to chip a little bit, which you can't notice unless you take the earring off after a year. So I feel like the life of them is probably about a year. Next, this is just, <laughs> this is so exciting to me. Um, I picked up a Hunza G bikini. I've seen these literally everywhere. I follow the Hunza G Instagram account and I finally bit the bullet because I have an upcoming trip which I will talk more about in a second. Um, but I have an upcoming trip and I don't, <laughs> it's with my family, and I really don't have many bathing suits that are fuller coverage, if that makes sense. So I picked this up because I've read reviews and I've heard other people talking about it and say, and they say that it's more of a fuller coverage bottom. Which it's still kind of cheeky, but you can like stretch out the material to fit a little bit more full size. Is that the right word? Fuller, not full sized. I guess full sized. See, this is my issue with filming the unedited days of my life because I feel like I could have totally cut that out and restarted the sentence. Here I am exposing myself. But it's one size fits most. I'm not going to say all. Um, what I do love about Hunzo G is that they show the bikini on different body types, which is super helpful when seeing how it's going to fit you and your body type. So I'll link this bikini down below. I got it off the website and I forget the color. I mean, it's obviously orange and I forget the exact style of it, but I'm really, really excited to wear this on my trip. And it's with family, so I really just don't have any non-cheeky swimsuits. So I thought it was just time to kind of 
just invest in one that was not so cheeky and that I feel comfortable wearing around like my family, Christian's family, other people's families, you know. So I got that, but I am going on a trip at the end of July and I'm really, really excited. I haven't been back in six years and I hope I don't get emotional talking about it, but I, and Christian's coming too, which I'm so excited about, but I, I don't know why I'm getting like nervous about saying, talking about it or anything like that, but I'm going to Harbor Island, which is one of my favorite places in this whole entire world. I haven't been to many places, but it definitely will always be one of my favorite places. It will be like a second home to me. It will be just like such a special place. And I used to spend probably a majority of my childhood summers there. We would go for like months, not months, but we would go for like a month every summer. And I haven't been there since 2016 and it doesn't even feel like it's been that long, but the last time I went, obviously growing up, I went with my family and it was my mom's favorite place. Literally ever in this whole world, it's just, I have so many cherished memories there with my mom and my family and my brother and my sister and even our like outside family or extended family and my mom's ashes are actually there we in 2016 spread her ashes around the island and around different places that we stayed or I don't know why I'm getting like my heart is racing but we spread her ashes just around like the areas that we spent a lot of time and um, just on the beach, in the water, by a house that we stayed in multiple summers in a row. And I just remember, so um, it's just a place that's really, really close to my heart. And um, it's even closer now because she's there and I feel, I know I'm gonna feel just like so, it's almost gonna, I don't know why I'm like about to cry, but it's gonna feel like I'm almost like coming home when I go. I might have to stop this clip because I'm literally getting emotional, but um, it's gonna feel just like I'm coming home and she's there and it's just a place that I feel really close to her and obviously all of my favorite memories are there with her and she's there and i'm really excited to go back and um i'm excited to bring christian christian's never been there and i'm excited to spend time with him there and my dad and my sister and my brother and um go back after how many six six years so i'm excited for christian to see like a little piece of my childhood and me I feel like it's such a it's such a part of me that place and um, I'm just really excited and I can't wait for him to see and I can't wait to go back with him and um, I don't know Christian I might need to pause this clip <laughs> Christian will never sadly get to meet my mom, but this is like a way that he can like see where she is and see why it's her favorite place, why it's my favorite place. And I feel like it will just be like a way for him to see that. And I wish they could meet, but they just can't and maybe this will be like a way for i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say but i didn't expect like to cry but i'm just like so so beyond excited to go and um get away for a few days and just like 
almost be with my mom again and be with my family and just be in like a place where it's like a breath of fresh air so I'm gonna pull myself together and um yeah <laughs> okay I have pulled myself together sorry when I talk about my mom and when I talk about that place and when I talk about spreading her ashes and um I just like remember all the memories and then I just get really sad when I think about like Christian coming and how he'll never get to meet her and it's it just like makes me really upset I think about it often how there are so many times in my life that are coming up that I want to be able to experience with her and I can't and it's honestly just so heartbreaking to me to like think about those things like I'll never be able to go dress shopping with her for my wedding or plan a wedding with her or she'll never meet my kids and watch them grow or watch me grow and sometimes that's like so hard to realize and understand and I don't know like I just can't get over it like every single time something new happens I still want to share it with her even though it's been so long and I think it's just like so heartbreaking seeing obviously on social media seeing all these um, mom and daughters go like dress shopping and seeing what like the moms do for them and um, like putting together things for them and I just I wish I had that and I don't and sometimes it's just really hard for me to like see that and see other people have that relationship and I know that there's so many other people out there that don't have a mom around or their mom set in their life and they don't have that relationship either and I'm so sorry that that's the case and I wish it wasn't but I just get really emotional talking about it so I wanted to share I'm really excited to go on this trip get away be back in my favorite place I'll obviously be vlogging the trip I'll be taking photos um, I'm really excited that now in 2022 I do YouTube and I can document uh, my trip because back in 2016 I didn't take nearly enough photos to document the trip in any way shape or form and looking back I wish I did take more photos or video clips of some sort to remember that trip and remember the place but now I'm just like excited that I obviously do YouTube I have a video camera I'm gonna be documenting literally everything and I'm so excited for you guys to come along I'm so excited to show you guys my basically a second home and um, you guys see and you guys can put on your bucket list to go because it's definitely one of the best places in this whole world so I may be biased but it truly is so I'm probably gonna sit on the couch maybe watch a YouTube video or two I did want to go to Ulta I need to get more of my what is it cleansing balm from the ordinary because I'm almost out and I'm like scraping the sides of the tube so I'll probably do that um but other than that I really just don't have any plans for today so sorry for getting emotional sorry for just like going on and rambling anyways so hot outside it makes me want to stay home but <laughs> I also do it to myself because I'm literally wearing long sleeves but when I'm home I like to have my arms covered so but when I leave it's just a recipe for disaster because I live in Florida and it's 100 degrees but I just went to Sephora picked up my cleansing balm I used the inky list oat cleansing balm probably repurchase this 20 times if not more it's 11 dollars. i've talked about it a million times it's my favorite so i picked up another one of those 
And then my energy is like declining. So I went to Starbucks and I got a cold brew and it was free and it was so uncomfortable for me because it's hard for me to accept something that's free. It's just weird. And he was like, here you go. And I was like, okay, here. And he, to scan. And he was like, no, no, just take it. And I was like, what? He's like, just take it. I was like, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure I should take it? He's like, yeah, just take it. So it's free, which is so nice. Nice surprise. I love when that happens. It's like hard to accept, but when you, when it happens, it's like, yes, 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 yes. Um, but I brought my caramel nut pods because I obviously wanted to try it and share. And I was reading the side to make sure I could consume it without it being fr refrigerated, which doesn't make sense why I was looking for that because obviously you can, but you refrigerate after opening. And I was looking at the side and it said fresh for seven to 10 days after opening. And I'm just like, but after the 10 days, can you still consume it? Because I have been and is it just like partially bad or is it like totally like you should not drink it? Because I definitely drink it after seven to 10 days. I have a container of it in my fridge that's probably been in there for over a month. Opened, so anyways, I'm just gonna, pour some of it into here and I found a straw in my glove compartment and I love that so I can mix it up so I'm gonna try maybe I should take a sip of it okay see this is the part that I would cut out but since we're doing the unedited thing we don't cut anything out, do we? Okay. Oh my gosh, I think this is a Starbucks straw too. That's so funny about that. This won't spill everywhere. Okay. Oh my God, I don't know if I should pause the video because this could get like so boring if you're just like watching me. Okay. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, I did something. I'm on like a caramel kick. This is it, this is it for me. Okay, I'm gonna drive home and um, probably chill on the couch. Um, I don't really, yeah, it's probably what I'll be doing. So, drink this, hopefully I get some energy. And, yeah. Also, how uncomfortable is it to see me start and stop each video? Because I cringe every time. Okay, it's a little bit later. I was sitting on the couch watching some YouTube videos and I just got up to fill up my water and my sleeve was really close to it and I was like, are you kidding me? Why am I so matchy-matchy right now? I thought it was just kind of funny because I wore a blue workout set this morning. I put on this like greenish seafoam green um, set. It has like matching shorts and then I pulled out a blue cup to drink from today. <laughs> so, just laughing. But um, I'm about to go head to Taylor's house to cook. I think we're cooking a HelloFresh meal. She's like on that delivery service and she has so much of it that she needs to eat. So we're gonna have a HelloFresh meal tonight. And I'm gonna bring Since this is where I would like cut parts out, you get what I'm saying. I'm gonna bring some Kim Crawford. This is like my favorite wine. I love New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. And a tip that I share with everyone who loves Kim Crawford or New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, or I guess that's not the right term. My tip for anyone who likes Kim Crawford um, Sauvignon Blanc is that it is a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc and all New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs taste very similar and they're all so good. So if you like one of them, if you find a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc in a menu, you're bound to like it anywhere at any restaurant, any 
bar, place, whatever. If you like the Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc, just look for a New Zealand one on a menu and it will taste just as good. But the Kim Crawford one, I like Oyster Bay, that's one of my favorites, but any New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, I'm honestly not picky, is <laughs> so good because they all taste just super similar. So I'm gonna bring this over and we'll just have a little night, but I'll bring you guys along. I told her that I'm vlogging an unedited day in my life and that whatever is in the vlog is in that video clip is sticking in that clip, so get ready. And she goes, you're honestly ruining my life. <laughs> so I, I warned her before. So that's what's going on tonight. Just a little update. I'm gonna head there in probably like 10 minutes. So probably pick up the camera once I get there. Pasta there. Do you want the chickpea pasta or the... I feel like you're more into the chickpea pasta than the cauliflower. Well, I'm gonna make it separately. You're gonna make it separately? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm making regular. Oh, I'll just eat the regular. Are you crazy? Yeah. Okay, do you want the bow ties? Like well, you have the bow ties out. Is that what you want? Um, what do you think would be better? Linguini might... What kind of what kind of sauce is it? Alfredo. I feel like there's a reason that they, they use fettuccine yeah. with Alfredo. We don't have fettuccine though, but linguine is like similar. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. You are so patient. Is this a begging face? Um, no, I think he, well, he wants you to pet him, so it's like begging you to pet. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Look at good boy. Okay, just got home from Taylor's. I also just started the dishwasher. I thought I started it before I left, but I guess I didn't. But I just started it, so if you can hear that in the background, that's what it is. Um, I'm also just drinking this sparkling water, and it's one of the best sparkling waters I've had in so long. Taylor had it at her house, and she was like, you have to try it. It's the pineapple and passion fruit one by the AHA brand. It's so good. So I'm just drinking that right now. I'm about to get in the shower, but I wanted to go ahead and end off this vlog here. I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it and stay tuned. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little unedited day in my life. Hopefully it wasn't all over the place or too long. Um, that's like one thing I'm worried about because I can't really cut anything out. Cut out pauses, cut out just whatever can't cut out me getting something from the fridge you know so i hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> let me know if you like this type of video or anything um but i'm gonna get in the shower hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you in tomorrow's vlog so see you then thanks for watching bye